Thanks for giving up your lunches to attend this everyone. I've got some bad news, some good news and some more bad news. Bit of a reverse shit sandwich, I'm afraid. What is it? Uh, reverse shit sandwich? Uh, yeah, like a shit sandwich, but the opposite. What's a shit sandwich? I had a shit sandwich once. Tuna and sweet corn. Disgusting. Uh, no, it's a figure of speech when someone gives you good news, bad news, and then good news again. That is a terrible analogy. Who puts shit in their sandwiches? Nobody. It's just a sa- Ant and Deck. I saw them feed one once to Joe Pasquale on I'm a Celebrity. Oh, I get it. Like, the layers of a sandwich? Exactly! What is? The good news is the bread, the bad news is the filling. I get that a shit filling would be bad, but what's so good about bread? It's got a lot of fibre content. Okay. You should each have two slices of bread and some shit in front of you. The real shit seems unnecessary. You take the first slice of bread. This represents good news. You then take your knife and spread the shit. This represents bad news. You put the remaining slice of bread on top. You have now delivered the bad news in between two bits of good news. Oh. Have we? I've only made this sandwich. Wait, this is a regular shit sandwich. Did you say reverse shit sandwich? Well, just reverse it. It's still just a shit sandwich. Fine. An inverse shit sandwich then. Shit, bread, then shit. It's not really much of a sandwich, more of a slice of bread with shit on both sides. Yeah, I'm getting shit all over my fingers. It does seem impractical. You're fired, you're promoted, and I've been banging your wife for months now. Oh, I get it. That was a reverse shit sandwich. Oh. Shit sandwich. <laughs> See, I can make up gestures too. You've lost it. Oh, I suppose that's a really well-known gesture as well. Yes. See this? This means you're a liar. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs>